that was nice and easy. But as I'm looking at our next component that we're going to be building the input component, I'm noticing that we were going to start, in fact, using the icons, which is something that we didn't download. However, we have used them in a previous project, so this shouldn't give us too much of a headache. And in this case, you know what? I will just gonna go with CDN. So we're gonna be looking for where we're starting. I'm gonna say start, and then we're gonna be looking for the CDN. Now, the moment I'm gonna have this CDN, we will gonna head over back to index HTML. And then let's say right after the bootstrap, we can just do again font font awesome. That is gonna be our comment. And we're gonna copy and paste our font awesome, and we should have access to that. Okay. That should work out really well. I will gonna leave the app JS for now open, and then we're gonna head over to the input, and I'm just gonna select it as the second one, and then we're gonna have the list and the item. So what we're gonna be doing first of all within the input? Let's say first and foremost above the return, we're gonna de structure whatever props we're having. So I'm gonna say item, then we're gonna have the handle change, and we'll change all the props that we already passed. Handle submit. Then we also have edit item. Edit item. So that should be our fourth one. And then we're going to say this dot props. So this is going to be from the props. Now, obviously, here is a mistake because I need to write const. And now everything is going to be displayed properly, apart from the fact that it hardly tells us that, well, you're not using them. But okay, we will in a second. And then we're going to have the return. Within the return, we're going to start with some kind of div. And for this day, we're going to use something that we have in the bootstrap, which is cards, which is a nice card layout. And then for card, we have a few classes card body. And then we're going to be looking for also a three. So margin top three, that's going to be our classes. And then within this card, we're going to have form. And for the form, we right away can skip the action. However, we will going to have on submit event, submit event. And here we can have the prop that we passed it down, which was handle submit. Handle submit. And obviously, I highlighted the handle change. And then obviously, we're adding the handle submit. Submit. Now, let me save it. This is going to be for our form. So at the moment, I'm just going to have the form, but I'll have no inputs, no submissions, nothing. But I do know that once I'm going to submit the form, then I'm going to run my method. And then within the form, we we're going to first of all have the closing tags like so. And then we're going to have to have the input group. Now, why I'm having this input group? Well, first of all, we can close the font awesome. But what I would want for the input is to have this little icon. And we have an option in Bootstrap, whether we're setting this on one side, left side, as well as we can set it up on the right hand side. Now, in our case, we're going to set up in the left hand side where we have the input and then right next to the input, we're going to have this little icon with the little div. And for that, we have a special class of input group. So input group, that's going to be our class within this input group, we're going to have an option again of prepending or appending. So I'm going to say input group, since we would want to prepend, I'm going to write like this, like so. And then we would need to set up the actual div that's going to be the container for our font awesome for the container. We have to have a class of input group text. That's going to be our class. And then since I would want to have that blue background, I'm going to say primary since in bootstrap, you have some default colors. So primary is going to be blue. The warning is going to be yellow. The danger is red and so on and so forth. And text is going to be white. Now text in our case, obviously is going to be the icon that we have. So our little font awesome book is going to be with a background of blue and the color of white. And here we just need to have the classes of FAS. But first, this obviously needs to be I element and FAS. And then we're going to have book. Now the moment we're going to save it, this is going to be my little input. And then I would also want to have my actual input. But I just need to be careful not to place it within this prepend. So still within the input group, but outside of this prepend, that is really, really important. We're going to have our input and in the bootstrap, they have some nice classes for the inputs. 
and the class name is gonna be form control. So right form con troll that's gonna be your class as well as I would like to capitalize so text capitalize for the input as well as we're gonna have some placeholder and the placeholder in this case is gonna be add to do to do item and if you remember with control inputs we needed to have two things that was handle change event that we were dealing with and meaning on change event but handle change is obviously the method we're going to be passing as well as we're going to have to set up the value attribute which is going to be based somewhere in the state well we already have the item correct we had the item that was the empty string and then if we're going to head over to the input we're going to see that we will going to have this item passed down as a prop so what i can do right now is going to be value value is going to be equal to the item so the property that i have in the state as well as i'm going to have the on change like i said that would be our event and then we're going to pass here the method that we created ourselves with which would be the handle change and that would be for the input as well as for the input group let me see where the events and also i would like to set up the button which is going to be my submit button so i'm going to write type and the type is going to be submit then we're going to add some classes so i'm going to say right here class name and we would want btn btn block so now what this says is that this is going to be displayed as a button and then the button is going to be spanning all across as far as our form allows us and then we would want some color so we're going to say button primary meaning this button is going to be blue and then we'll have some margin top three meaning this wouldn't be the actual four that we used before but three is just going to be a little bit less margin to the top and we would also want to write obviously something within the button so i'm going to say button and we're going to write add item something like this so now we can save it and maybe you know what let's add also text on per case i think this is just going to look a little bit big better and yeah this is going to be our setup for the to do input so we have successfully completed it and now i can go ahead and start working on our methods one that controls the handle change and the second one is going to be dealing with submit if we want to see handle change in action if i'm going to be typing something i'm going to be having in the console handle change so i know i'm calling this method and if i'm going to be submitting then this is going to deal with handle submit however we're not going to be able to see since obviously we don't have the event prevent default set up and that's going to be our next task to work on these two methods handle change and handle submit